This video is sponsored by SneakerImpact.com. Take a second, look in your closet, see how many shoes you got. If you don't feel like trying to list those shoes and resell those shoes and you simply want to get them out of your closet, visit SneakerImpact.com, hit the contact button or the recycle button, and you can begin your recycling journey. They will send you a free packing slip, and all you have to do, fill the bag, drop it off, and that's it. SneakerImpact.com. Check them out. Uh, we have a black box, and um, one of the most interesting things, this is a $150 pair of Air Trainer 1s, SP, so let's get it out of here so you guys can see it, because I did a video on this recently, and I related, I related the shoe to uh, who we consider our OG, John Gotti, the Air Trainer, even though it's not the model that we're traditionally associating with the Air Trainer one. But this one, from what I gathered, was supposed to be affiliated with Travis Scott. And um, it has all of these kind of quirky uh, adjustments to it that are much different than what we've seen before, including a ton of reflective surfaces throughout the upper, around the swoosh, around the heel, all over the place where you see these kind of things that look like tribal markings. Um, those are all reflective elements on the shoe. But because I got the box open, you guys can see the box. And it's what? Uh, stamp 22, 10, 21, 07. And there's a 15 at the end, I think. There's also a green QC sticker. But that 22, 10, 21, I'm pretty sure that's what we're looking at for this. And I'm going to sit this down. I'm going to pull the tongue up, 22, 10, 21, and I got 09, so it's 10, 22, 21, 09, 29, 21, that's very, very close to that four weeks, especially in uh, 2021 where everything was kind of pushed back. The materials here are awesome, um, it's not, there's leather on it, there's what feels like a very weird mesh, man in certain panels and then there's overlays and then there's this kind of reflective section. I went through it all on the previous video, but I want to get to the close up on this shoe and you have that recycled rubber that's on the outsole. It's, it's a fun shoe, it's a cool looking shoe and the replacement of the strap with this buckle, which I will move that up so you guys can see it. That's just a great addition. And I talked about it before on the 720 and the 270, the Sherbet uh, Air Max 270, the mid, had a similar kind of buckle, but that one was magnetized. Um, I know you want to get to the close-up, so let me jump into the box itself. So Air Trainer 1 SP, light smoke gray, honeydew. Style code is DH7338002. Uh, this is a 10 and a half, but I'm not going to do the UPC. I've quit doing the UPC. I'm going directly to the back of the tongue again. And the dates of production are 08, 04, 21, to 09, 29, 21. The small code is IR, which is Indonesia. That's pretty much it for that. This hit of blue on the back of the tongue is crazy. Because you have the blue Nike Air on the back, and then the dots up the front of the shoe are blue. And I think those are the only blue elements except for this reflective kind of chameleon-like skin that's here at the mid, the medial, and the lateral side. You gotta see it close up though, because it's really interesting. It's a really interesting shoe. Close up. Since we had a chance to do the previous model, there's uh, four of these models in this SP pack for the Air Trainer 1 that I keep saying is kind of related to Travis Scott, but I'll quit saying that. But you can see immediately the reflective elements that are on the shoe all the way throughout the upper. I get why Gotti loves these shoes, man. I get it. Initially, I was like, yeah, they dope, but I don't see it. But the more I look at these joints, let me move this up so you can see the materials. Here, suede, Reflective overlays, that clasp, and it's not that difficult to put 
back together. See, I did that with one hand. It's a nice subtle hit of coconut milk, I guess you would call it. That tongue. And that feels like ripstop. Right? But you had that color shifting mesh material on the sides. It's reflective around the swoosh. The swoosh itself is scuff tech. Let's go to the heel, and you see the Nike Air on the back, and then that reflective hit all the way around. That kind of volt or yellow or coconut milk, I guess, color of the swoosh. It's a dope shoe, man. I love the blue back there. Really is a dope shoe. And I'm showing you the outsole because I want you to see some of those kind of Nike grind speckles that are in the rubber. Let's turn that. Let's actually end it on that shot. And I went a little bit more into detail on the other Air Trainer 1 SP video. But hopefully you appreciated this look. Let's turn it one last time. Ended with that shot. See you guys on the next one. Peace.